How's it going, everybody? We got the uh, event for you here today, talking about the Apocalypse event that is called Snowy Spider Spectacle. Uh, gold spending event plus web store event. We got all that and more with Scotty. We'll talk about everything about this event because I know it is a hot button topic. Scotty, how do you think the community is uh, going to find this event? It's so hot right now. Just as hot as Zoolander. <laughs> all right. I got I got that joke. That was a good one. I got that one. <laughs> All right. So the first web milestone event is just to spend one campaign energy. Uh, is this the incursion energy or just regular energy? This is regular campaign energy. Okay. Um, and they are giving you an extra 50 a day in the free claim. So you'll just notice that like under the daily free web store energy instead of 120, oh, instead of 100, it's 150. Okay. So I just added that to that because we're going to get that hopefully every day, I assume every day. Um, and so I broke it down because basically I think the the milestone most people can get to is the third from last. But anyway, if you want to get um, some extra cold hard cash, um, because I think there's uh 4000 and then 8000 in those last two milestones um but there's not milestone points so if you're wanting the cold hard cash for the store um basically what you have to do is today do 3 50 core refreshes and then every day do four of the 50 cores and one 100 if um you did not blow all your energy on the previous event that's kind of the downside of this is we just went from a spend campaign energy event for orb fragments to spend campaign energy mm -hmm. if you kind of stopped um because you had hit the milestone you needed to and maybe even were sitting at 120 or 150 energy today um then you don't need to do as many of the refreshes but it just really depends you know what you came into this event with okay. um some people may have already blew their 50 cores today um to hit the last milestone i know i did to hit a milestone today on one account i hit um did the the 50s already so that means pretty much the next days um you're gonna have to do like some 100s to to hit it okay all right so a bit completable free to play for the entire web yeah milestone. yeah Perfect. it's not like four hundreds every day which i think is nice yeah so that's you do have a second option here, just milestone uh, nine. This is misses out on what four hundred? What CHC? Cold hard cash. Uh, the cold hard cash. Okay, perfect. And to do that, no core energy refreshes today, and then for the rest of the event, we're doing three of the fifty. So like very very easy to get up there. All right. Yeah. Uh, and then do we have another one, milestone eight? That's all the monthly milestone points. Is that what I'm seeing there? Uh, yeah, so this is just getting the milestone points, and then you're missing out on those last um, cold hard cash. And sorry, in the previous one, it said 400 cold hard cash. It's 4,000 cold hard cash. I just left a zero off. Okay. Um, but this one is just getting the milestone points, so missing out on basically 12K of the cold hard cash. But it's much lighter on your cores um, and okay. energy uses because you only have to do 250s. Like, most people do... Um, like four fifties a day, but if you're not one of those people and there's not things you want to farm, like this is what you would have to do to just at least get all the milestone points. Right. I, I always recommend people do their four fifties cause you're going to be able to farm like your teal gear and, and, and your campaign, uh, character shards. Cause now they're flooding the campaigns with new characters to farm. So I don't think there's any reason not to do your four fifties, especially during these events. And I just want to make a special note. So um, they said that they were adding 5 million milestone points to the web milestone. Okay. But when I looked at the totals from what was in it in the past and then to what it was updated today in the live web milestone, it was only 4.5 million. Okay. Um, I double checked it multiple times um, because it is hard to add up like in the two things because I can't just copy and paste it. So I did like add it multiple times just to make sure. And they have said that they are going to add the 5 million at some point. It didn't sound like it was going to happen today. I personally just, until it's added, I'm not going to do the math with it added. So okay. you'll just notice in the math that we're, we're continuing with, I'm staying with it just being the extra 4.5 million because it's just until they do it, I just don't believe it. So I'll wait till it's actually added. Okay, and that'll be then updated in the Discord server, yes. of course. Basically, basically, it's like you have to spend 500k less gold for the stuff we're about to talk to. Cool. So, 
Well, let's get into it. Let's talk about the snowy spider spectacle, and let's have uh, let's have a little conversation here about it as well. So, we're spending ca incursion campaign energy. There is a limit on this of thirty million. Now that seems like it's going to be very hard to hit. Or how does that going to work? Because we only get sixty energy per, even if it's worth five thousand points, right? So to hit that, um, I, I did break it down. Just if you want to actually hit like the thirty million later on, it's not crazy. I mean. You are going to have to do some 100 core refreshes to hit it, but it's not like 400 core refreshes. Um, but it is unfortunately like you only get 60 for each refresh instead of the 120 you get for campaign energy, but it is worth 5,000 points per. Um, they, I, I think they're just trying to get us to want to spend that energy and not forget about it. And I just really put it in the top just, right corner. Just, just put, put it in the top. <laughs> just put it in the top. There's the ice energy. Because I do forget it exists. Like, I have gone so many times. It's just been sitting at 120 for, like, days, I feel like. Because yeah. I just haven't thought. <laughs> yeah. There's definitely a better way for them to solve that problem. All right. Put it at the top. Put it at the top. There's a spot for energy. Just put it at the top. All right. Then we got the spend gold. Uh, it's worth one point per gold spent. There is no limit on that, unsurprisingly. We have a bunch of orbs. We'll look at the contents of those orbs. Well, let's have a little conversation about this just event in general. The return of gold spending event, they said hoarding was done in their minds. They have said that spending gold isn't the same as hoarding gold orbs. One thing leads to another, is all I gotta say. Um, how do you feel about the return of gold spending events, and what do you think this means for the future of the game? Do you think that extremely rare means once a year, does it mean twice a year? Should people hoard? Like, I, I feel a very strong way about this, and I'll say after you, because my... my Thoughts are going to be very unpopular. So you go ahead. Uh, I don't like being told when I have to spend a resource like gold. I don't like that. And especially like if the level cap increase had happened and then an event like this happened, then it would make more sense. But at the same time, I am happy to see that they gave us these orbs, um, which are, aren't terrible. They aren't amazing, but at least it gives you something to spend some gold on if you want to certain things like people have been screaming for a way to get iso 4 and so that orb is appealing to a lot of people um and it is kind of a way to to get some bonus points basically for spending gold in this event but at the same time it's just we've we're at a point where a lot of people are waiting for this level cap increase and this feels like just a really shady way to try to take gold from us before that happens and leave us in a worse spot when we're trying to this is a resource management game and i feel like they're trying to take away our ability to resource manage by sh like hanging a little treat in front of our face right so i feel pretty strong about this and i'm gonna get roasted for this and that's fine i i always want to be honest with you guys i don't care about diamonds on apocalypse because i always knew they were going to auction it off to the krakens they're putting it in the form of a gold spending event, but if it wasn't this, it would have been in the form of spend campaign energy, battle, war, crucible, whatever, with seven yellow, seven red star, new character, X name, whatever, um, donations, or just milestone points that they sell. They were always going to auction this character's diamonds off at some point. I'm a little upset that Apocalypse is coming this soon, but I never would have expected to be able to get Apocalypse. Even if I hoarded for this entire year, and I don't like hoarding because I always hear the comments, well, look at how big your team is. Then I'm like, well, how much gold do you have? Well, I have 80, 80 million gold, but I'm waiting for the right team to invest in. Well, that's why you don't have similar size teams because I always drained my account from resources. I always, If I had it, I spent it, I built it up. That's how I had big teams. I would never try and compete in an event like this at the detriment of to my roster for all the time pass. I don't believe in that. Also, because I know they're going to sell milestone points, and I know I'm not going to be in that top 1,000, no matter what I do, unless I open the credit card. And that's not worth it to me. Six months, eight months from now, Apocalypse will be available. We'll have some dark promo diamonds ready to promote them then, and that's when I'll get it. So, I don't look at this event as a, oh, if I hoarded, I could have got a three-diamond Apocalypse. Instead, I look at it as... What's the bare minimum I need to do to complete the milestones? Now, if I can complete the milestones in a reasonable manner, then to me, I'm like, fine, whatever. 
I, I know what this is. This is them draining Krakens so that they can increase the level cap. And so the Krakens... I think they actually were nice to the Krakens. They didn't make them have to refresh the gold store like they had to in the past. We got these orbs instead, which we'll talk about. But for me, it's it's just it's just another shitty event. They all kind of suck. All right, so embrace the suckage. <laughs> Your life will get better. I don't know what to tell you. Now, Scotty did do the math for us, and you, you could roast me. Look, that's fine. I get it. Maybe I'm just apathetic. I don't look at the leaderboard rewards and, and look at the top 1,000 and say, "Oh, I got this." All right, never ever. So, and let's let's look at some math. All right. All right, quick cut. We had to do a little bit of extra math real quick. We got the corrections. We threw in the additional uh, web milestone points that we're going to be getting, that we should be getting, they say, but they don't tell us when, and we haven't got it yet, so who knows if that's going to happen. But we include it here. So, Scotty, why don't you break down what we got to do to finish this gold spending travesty of an event? So, you can't hit the limit on the incursion energy, after all. Um, like even if you do like the 450s, 400s today and all that stuff, you still have to spend like between 70 million and 77.6 million golds to finish it. Okay. Um, I don't know if I would do a hundred core refreshes on incursion energy, but then you'll just have to spend more gold if you don't. Yeah. I, I, I think that's the move. I, I don't think you want to be refreshing the incursion energy that much. That's a crazy amount. That's 200, 600 cores daily. No, nah, no thanks. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and then for the uh, the monthly free to play, that didn't change much at all, right? How much gold do we got to spend daily for that? Uh, now it's between sixteen and eighteen million. Oh, uh, so that's a little bit more than what we had before. Now, for averaging, what are we averaging? Like two point five million gold a day now, over six yeah, days. I feel, like, I feel like most people can spend that, especially because a lot of people have saved it up. Um, but I mean, you can do some incursion energy refreshes to decrease that amount. And the nice thing is like, this is an event where you need keeping up with doing that. It's not like you have like the offers that you have to buy every day and there's only a limited amount. Like you can literally get to the end and just say, okay, this is now what I have to buy the orbs if I want to finish this part or this milestone. Right. Okay. So not so bad. And yeah, if you started saving your gold from Friday, you'll definitely be able to spend this much to at the very least get the monthly items. Let's go look at the uh, the event in game now. We'll talk about everything there is to talk about there, including the leaderboards, the actual rewards we're getting, and uh, give our final thoughts on the event. So in rewards, look, let's look at the difference between 14 and 20. And then let's look at the orbs that we could actually be buying for this. So it's the uh, sp uh, Snowy Spider Spectacle, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, we do have the Spider Slayer Shards. Do you know off the top of your head how many Spider Slayer Shards are in here? No. All right. 10, 20, <laughs> 30, 40, 55, uh, 70, uh, 85, 105, 135, 135. That's an awkward amount of shards, but okay. Is this the only place for getting Spider Slayer shards? Uh, Yeah. That's such an awkward... Or, or do we get him? Okay, we also get shards here from him. Okay, interesting. All right. Now let's look at milestone 14. So this is where we get the monthly item 100. So there's 10 gear to 18s for an additional. Let's let's just call it gold spent. Let's say that's an additional uh, six million gold spent, and then an additional 10 million gold spent will get you one million ISO four plus two elite sixes. And so 12 million on top of that is going to be 20 spider slayer shards, 1500 catalysts. That's kind of nice. Uh, and then an, an additional 8 million on top of that will get you 10 gear to 18 orbs, help people get that scroll a little bit faster. An additional 16 million from there will get you 300 dark promos, that hardly seems worth it. And an additional, what's that, 4, 24 million gold spent will get you one diamond, will get you one random 7 red star upgrade. <laughs> and then 60 gear to 18 of the tech slide. So, alright, here's, here's the big problem with the event, okay, so the event does kind of, it's, it's pretty shitty. We could have farmed up so much gold to finish this, and that is 120 gear tier 18s at the bottom of that. That's the biggest problem with this event. Not the fact that it's a gold spending event, which I would say is dumb. They, they kind of, in the spirit, said we don't have to worry about that anymore. But it's the fact that they are gating the milestones from people, not just having people fight to the death over the diamonds on Apocalypse. Let's look at the ranked rewards. All right. So, of course, there's three Diamond Apocalypse, 160 Spider Slayer Shards. I always find it so funny they put so much shards at the top, 
anyone who's going to be getting the top 20 for this is going to have Spider Slayer completely maxed out. Um, then the 3,500 dark promo credits. Yeah, that's just extra stockpile for them. 4 million ISO 5. They probably get some use out of that. Unless their ISO 4 is lacking. So it's all the way to the top 1,000 is getting one diamond apocalypse. Well, with the crazy buff they did to Apocalypse, one diamond's going to mean a lot. Top 50 gets a three diamond, so we're going to have the joy of facing that everywhere. And then it's the one diamond dawn. One diamond dawn orb for one to three percent, and then half of an orb for four to ten percent. Could you imagine having to just stare at that 1k in your inventory forever, knowing that when you do finally fill it out, you're going to be able to get yourself a seven red star calling wing? How excited are you for that? Hey, Trey is still lit. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, so I mean, look, the leaderboard is uh, the top end is super heavy. It's super. People are gonna want that for sure, uh, and they're gonna fight to the death for it. Let's check the leaderboards right now. We got Fates Fury already spent a cool six hundred and thirty million gold. Beta Ray Bill six hundred twenty. Lek five thirty eight. Doctor Duke coming in hot with five hundred mil platypus. So a lot of the familiar names are up there. I think the Sergeant Wolf guy. I think this is one of the goofy hack things. Yeah, three point six million TCP. So this could just be somebody's account who just logs in, collects gold, logs out, and that's he just had a stockpile just to troll for these kind of events. Uh, but there was a bunch of them up earlier. It looks like a lot of them have been kind of yeeted. Uh, wait, what's this guy? Not Venom? Boom, shoot, that's a real player, right? Yeah, it's a real player. So uh, it looks like they did kind of already nuke the leaderboards. Oh, here's another Sergeant Wolf. He's at 14 million. <laughs> good times, good times, good times, Scope Lee. So a lot of a lot of Krakens are going to be wondering about the validity of the leaderboard anyway. Oh, what's this guy? He's in a random strike team. Well, it happens, it happens every time. And then they tell us, oh, we've investigated it, and it's legit. And we go, mm, okay, sure. Here we go. You're full of shit. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. All right, well, okay. Look, there's a heavy price tag for those leaderboards. The top 1,000 people, look, I wish you all the best of luck. Just remember, it's people are going to be fighting for that the last second because we can buy these orbs whenever we want, right? Where are these mm -hmm. orbs? I haven't even seen them yet. Uh, go to the Stores. far left yeah. and then orb. Yeah. So there is no limit on these. The final hour of this event, that leaderboard is going to be crazy. There is going to be so much movement. It's already at 600 million. I expect them to break 1 billion easy. 1 billion easy. Because we can just spam these. People are going to be holding on to the last second. Did you see Batwalk up there? Batwalk is coming for y'all. I promise you. Uh, he was up there, and I, I do think it's funny because some of the people up there were like telling me how they were just gonna skip it because it was so terrible, and yeah. it's like I'm seeing them in the top ten <laughs> already. Yeah, it's gonna be disgusting. Yeah. So is there is there like an open multiple? Oh my god, there's an open multiple feature. Oh my god, they know what they're doing. This is evil. <laughs> this is so evil. There's an open times 10 option that goes on a loop. Okay, the last hour, those leaderboards are going to be crazy. Oh my god. All right, anyway, let's look at the, the contents of these orbs for us normal players. The left pillar, we get some gear tier 16s and 17s. Or those are just 16s, aren't they? Yeah, those are just 16s. Okay, the center pillar, we got some gear tier 18s, six of them at a 1% drop rate. 12 at a 10% drop rate. Why was the change? You're more likely to get 12? All right, whatever. Uh, tw oh, 24 gear tier 17s. And then, yeah, these are all gear tier 17s at this point. Oh, three gear tier 18s is the, the most likely drop. So these are a nice little gear tier 18 loop. Look, people who want to excel in the raid situation that have been worried about... Um, uh, sorry, that I've been worried about the bio section having scroll. This is a great time to load up on these orbs, get some gear to 18s, and make that push, that final push for scroll. Let's see the superior frozen gear orb. Now this contains just more gear, orange gear. Avoid this orb like the plague. Don't touch this orb. Is is this orb magically uh, better for points, Scotty? Which one? The uh, the orange gear. Orb. No, they're all the same ratio, ten percent okay. extra. Okay, and then the frozen ISO orb. So we do have ISO here. Lots of people want that ISO level four, and ISO level four is the guaranteed drop in the center pillar. 
that's not bad so various drop rates there is a million jackpot at a 2.3 percent that's not a horrible drop chance actually this could be a really good opportunity for people who have scroll to stock up on some iso 4 ions so i'm not hating these orbs yet and the other pillar what are these rewards green green get your green out of here uh how do you feel about these orbs scotty actually i don't dislike these orbs i think there's actually some good stuff in there uh i don't think they're bad i, I mean I, they're not amazing but like if you if you need a way to spend gold at least they're giving us a way because that was the concern was that they were gonna f us yeah um so hopefully you have everything you want leveled and you can make use out of these orbs especially to get that scroll for those of you who don't have it um yeah i don't we don't have much else to talk about this event i guess the supply store lots of good characters in there for the web milestone portion of it right and gear trade teens in there as well so lots of good stuff to be had here mm -hmm. this is a tough one if you are not trying to compete in the leaderboard and you just want to get cool stuff i think you could look at this event and get some benefit of it i think as a whole we could definitely tell them like hey these extremely rare events if you're going to do them, give us heads up so that we can get all the milestones. Because it's so rare we can get all the milestones to take the sting off a gold spending event. If they leave the rewards good, like they are now, and we and every player can hoard to get it, we will actually almost celebrate these events. Am I wrong there? I think you should. I There's something bad coming, I think. So I would just... Just chill Enjoy on this, what it is. All right. Enjoy it for what it is. You know, take your take your own journey. I, for one, there, know... There's a, a future event that I think is coming that is going to rile people up, like the Thanos giving and the stupid turkey thing and stuff like oh, that. Oh, yeah, something for Christmas. There's got to be something yeah, horrible something. coming for Christmas. Can I... I'm going to open okay. one of these orbs, okay? We're going to get the jackpot right now. 2%. Ready? Go for it. Boom! Video's over. Good job, everybody. We got 50. All right, this game, this event sucks. We're outie. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, healthy, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.